Okay, guys, so I finally got these headlights in that I've been trying to, uh, I've been working with NTD on, trying to work out the kinks in the box. It comes with a H4 to H13 adapters. Uh, they will come with anti-flickers. Also, I had them not send me the anti-flickers because I got the uh, rally conversion on mine. Uh, so the headlight looks like this. You got your uh, got your DRL and your turn signals. I think this is the DRL up here. Then this is your turn signals here, and then you got your high, your low and high beams. Uh, on the back, die cast aluminum uh, housing with H four plug, and then you have the uh, yellow wire, which is going to be your turn signal wire. Then you got the white wire, which is going to be the for the DRL. Uh, then I got, uh, had them send me a set also for the Harley. Uh, I got a guy, my father-in-law, he's going to help me out with, uh, testing that, testing the Harley ones out. Uh, they sent me these also, uh, which is, uh, it's supposed to be adaptive. And in this box, the only thing they sent was the headlight. He's got a 2013 Road King, so I think we'll be all right. This one, I actually, uh, it feels about the same. I thought it might have felt a little bit heavier, but on the back of this one, he just got the DRL right there. And then you got the H4 plug for the Harley. And then you on the lens, this is what you got. Supposedly with the adaptive ones, you got, uh, these are supposed to light up individually as you're making your turn to make the light go uh, go into the turn with you uh i'm curious to see if that's going to be at some actually gonna actually work or not uh but i'll have some uh beam pattern data the harlan ones probably this weekend i'm gonna go over there to him and we're gonna install them on his road king and uh and i'll have some more data on that but i'm gonna go out here and i'm gonna install these on the jeep now I got everything broke down. It shouldn't take me but about 20 minutes. Then I'm going to come back and get my thoughts on them. I probably won't hook the DRLs or anything like that up right yet. I'll just probably just plug the headlights up and see what I got. All right, guys. So here's the, uh, here they are. It's the low beam of the old one. Low beam of the new one. So I'm curious to, uh, I'm very curious to see how it's going to throw the light out tonight when I get them installed completely. So that's what you got on the old one. This one's got, got the one, two, three, four, five, five lights in the middle. Then you got the DRL running up top there. I didn't hook the DRL up on these. I just got the, I just did do the turn signals though. So I'll uh, go to high beam now and show you what the high beam looks like. There's a the high beam on the old one, which pretty much everything on. And then you got these right here light up on the sides bright. And then that one on the bottom is not quite as bright as the other ones when it lights up. So I guess it's part of the part of the the low beam throw and then you got these two on the side lighting up bright for high beam and then all of them in the middle so that's your, that's what it looks like on high beam and then uh and then then the turn signals Probably should have took it off. Let me take it off high beam. Go back to low beam. So turn the signals on. So that's what the turn signals look like. Not look like on, and you know during the day you can see them, but at night when you're probably really appreciate them. There you go. Turn signals on. Flashing amber. All right, so I got the rally conversion on mine. 
as you can see if you get a decent anti flicker not going to get no flicker on low beam rally conversion you're definitely not going to get no flicker if you got led lights like i've said in the past that's, the, that's your best option i'll show you the high beam jeeps running no flicker anyone who complains about flicker on headlights is normally what it comes down to is the uh it's the uh the harness or whatever you're running the anti-flicker more most likely is causing it to flicker these have no flicker at all not even on high beam with the jeep running so i'm gonna go ahead and get both sides installed and then we'll wait to the night and see what kind of beam pattern and everything we got uh so stay tuned for that so here they are installed both sides i ain't got the grill back on yet but uh that's what they look like turned off i'll back up you can see that's uh i'll put them on both on low beam There's your, there's your low beam on. That's what it looks like. Get a close up shot of it. I mean, I reckon they're bright. I mean, I, first I wasn't thinking they were, but if I look right at them, they're, they're pretty bright. I'm curious to see the. I'm really curious to see what the beam pattern is going to look like on them. And you got the brights. That's high beam. Right there. And then I just turn the hazards on to give you an idea of what it looks like. If you had your signals on. That's with the, uh, that'd be like you had your turn signals on right there. The flash amber up top for your turn signals. So, like what you, so that's what they look like. Uh, we'll run tonight with them, get a good idea what they, uh, what kind of beam pattern they're throwing out. And I'll add that to the video later and uh, finish it. Stay tuned for that. So this is basically what they look like on the interstate. They spread out pretty good. Really hadn't done many light reviews on, on these lights. I figured I would since I'm probably going to take them off tomorrow. I'm bedlining my grill today. So I figured I'd give you some kind of some kind of review on them. Uh, they're not bad by any means you can see. They're way back brighter than the stock headlights. They got a good cut off. It's got a nice look to them. You see they're lighting up the signs really well.
and show you this. Awesome, bro. I don't want to do that right here. Just for folks that don't like this video, I just didn't like. These were the JW knockoffs that I had on my Jeep, that I got on my Jeep right now. Uh, these were uh, not like a um, Evo 1 or Evo 2. They was actually, they actually made for a motorcycle. But, um, NTD had made them uh, set for a Jeep. Uh, they actually, They got the turn signal option built into them, and uh, I like them. Uh, but I don't know if I like them better than the other ones I had on my Jeep. Like I was saying, uh, they don't have as much distance high beam or low beam that the other ones had but they're better than a lot that I put on here probably maybe the second best I don't know those old uh, 
Evo twos I had on here were, were pretty good. The, the J style, uh, J style uh, knockoffs that I had on here uh, back in uh, February of last year, uh, those were pretty good. I mean, actually, those were really good. If it wasn't for the hot spot, that's what I didn't like about them. I, I'm not. I, I don't really like a beam that's got a, a major hot spot in it. I, I like to have a, as little hot spot as possible, and I like to uh, have a nice cutoff and some decent throw. Wide. I, I want it to be wide without uh, wide without it um, having to add any kind of horizontal adjustment screws and uh, these these are pretty wide they get out they, they spread out across the road pretty good I mean I can see both sides of the road especially the right side no problem so uh, when I get out of this building I'll go to back way home and I'll get a little bit more footage uh, to add to this and uh, then I'll post it and then y'all can tell me what you think Okay, so I figured I'd do a final thought on uh, these lights. Uh, so, I think they're a pretty decent light. Pretty good value for uh, what you get. They, uh, 215 for a set. They come for a Harley as well. Uh, like I had stated earlier, uh, I went ahead and took them off and put my other ones back on. Uh, once you get used to driving with a certain light uh, and you drive with it for so long I guess it just it's hard to compare other lights to it I still think that the uh, AO 101 best LTD light is a better light than this uh, it's more expensive than this light but it, um, it don't have a turn signal option it does have a DRL uh, but uh, this isn't a bad light at all my father-in-law has to run in lights uh, side 4.5 inch I believe or 4 inch he's got a 2013 Harley Road King I got the whole setup for him I got the uh, headlight and the two running lights sent to me uh, and we installed them on his uh, Harley he really likes them he really likes this light on his Harley uh, he uh, had the day makers on his uh, Harley and uh, he uh, took them off in favor of these uh, and they are adaptive for a Harley, like whenever you uh, lean to the left or right, these light light up as you go into the turn. So uh, it's a pretty cool option for a Harley. Uh, they do not do that for a Jeep. These are the Jeep option. Has the turn signal, DRL, uh, uh, earlier in, early in the video. Uh, uh, some people have stated they had fitment issues with these, that have uh, bought these off of me. Uh, had to trim the rear of the bucket uh i'm not sure what year models you will have a, a issue on i took mine 2010 i didn't have to trim the rear bucket i got them to fit uh i know a 2013 uh anything 07 through 2010 i'm assuming i saw, saw, installed a few sets on a 07 couple about four or five uh, 07 and uh, maybe 108 uh my 2010 and i know a 2013 I uh, didn't have any fitment issues, uh, so so I'm not sure. I know the other guys who said they had fitment issues. They had 15, uh, 15, 2015 and 2016 models, or maybe 2016 and 2017 models. That's what it was. So uh, I'm not real sure. I thought all the buckets were the same. Uh, they had a tapering issue on the back of their bucket. Uh, so I, uh, mine doesn't really taper. It does a little bit, but I, I, I was able to get them to line up and install on mine without any trimming or anything. So that's something you might want to watch out for if you decide to get something like these. Uh, you may have to trim the rear of the bucket out a little bit to uh, get them to seed properly. But uh, other than that, uh, they're a good option. Uh, they are probably equal to a JW speaker. Uh, they got a really nice cutoff, nice sharp cut off uh, you're not going to blind nobody i never got flashed one time when i was running these uh the only issue i really had out of them was uh compared to the best uh ltd aeo 101 lights uh they was uh 
not as didn't get out there quite as far as uh, the other lights did. And like I said, I drove with those lights for uh, almost a year from uh, the end of March of last year uh, until uh, f February of this year. And uh, I hadn't changed lights since. I haven't had no reason to change lights. Uh, I've been talking with this company for NTD for probably about maybe uh, about three or four months on these lights. Uh, I sent them a picture of the JW speaker lights. Uh, been trying to get them to build it with the turn signal option built into it. Uh, and they finally got it done and sent me a set. And, uh, not a bad option. So uh, if you like the, like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. If, you want, if you're interested in some headlights, message me or email me at jeepnationjk10 at gmail.com. This is Jamie, Jeep Nation.